Mm. And I let them know what was going on. Okay. Okay. So everybody that's standing right here, we're veterans as well. I have to come here and get my care. I don't like the mask thing or whatever. Yeah, but you see, if you're veterans, how are you just stepping on everybody's rights? You no, know, didn't I'm you swear a right to the Constitution? Right, I know this guy sure is sure happy to do it. I'm not stepping on your rights, sir. Okay, so, so am I free to leave? So I don't want to. You asked me for the policy. I, I am leaving. I'm not I'm being. Asking, am I'm I being detained? I'm asking you. Do would you like I'm, for me to get the policy? You're being spoken to. I'm not. I'm not. You're not leaving. I'm not. Listen, I don't want to answer your question. Consider yourself detained until we're done talking to you. Okay, I'm asking you, sir, are, are you leaving at this time, or do you want the policies? I don't answer questions. You don't want the policies? I don't answer questions. Okay. Well, you're being detained at this time. You will receive your citation for failure to... I don't answer questions. To wear the mask. Well, well listen, okay. So, the longer that... We don't have get your you, identification. Get, get, get your yourself, you Where's be, your ticket book? Get your ticket book out. Let's do it. Do you have you get an you, identification? I'm not showing you. I'm not showing you identification. You get me a ticket book, and I'll show you my identified that you can write me a ticket. Okay. You, you, you just want to. So we're going to be going over to our office. So no, do you let, have any let, weapons let, on you? Let, let's go. I don't ask questions. Well, I'm going to pat you down to make I, sure I that you do I, not I, have I, any I, weapons I on you that. at this time. I don't agree to that. It was an illegal search. Careful, Andrew. So, I'm patting you down because I don't want to, we're going to have to take a ride, and I don't want to jump in the back of the Am vehicle and put you I'm in not, I'm not riding with you. I'm not, I, listen, if I, I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm not, I'm not going for a ride with you. If you've got a ticket, issue it. Otherwise, I'm leaving. I'm not being detained. I, you said I was being detained. You are being detained. You're going to be issued a ticket, and then you'll be released. So one of you guys got a ticket book. Just get your ticket book and come back. So the reason I'm patting you down is because they didn't want to put you in the back, have put the cuffs on you. I'd rather just pat you down, make sure you don't have anything, and that's it. Sure, man. Whatever you say. So. <clears throat> so you, this must really be nice for you, huh? Like, I can't believe you're actually a veteran and doing this to people. I don't answer questions. But you probably should. Isn't it, isn't it unique that you're willing to wear a mask? Is there a policy about, like, oh, I see all kinds of, look at that. There's, talk about hand hygiene. Do you wash your hands? Oh, there's a service dog policy right there. Let's go see what that is. But that's not what happened, though. Is this what she's referring to? Is this the policy she's talking about? Well, that's just a sign. I don't think this is this is not the actual policy. So, so. signs aren't policy. That's not the actual policy. Well, is there an actual policy? Yes, there is. There's not. It says if you want to learn more, it's right there. If you go to that website, it has the policy right there. Come on, nonsense. There's the link right there, sir. Whoa! So, there's a, just a link. I listen, I, I, I believe it. www.pugetsound.va.gov forward slash patients forward slash service dogs dot ASP. Of course there's so, of, of course there's that. There, are there signs about healthy eating, Robinson? Well, listen, you're the one who's, you, you don't have to be here. You're, you're the one who's, if you're so concerned about a mask, why aren't we concerned about healthy eating? Abra, 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 abra. Yeah, good luck. Childish. Good luck. Well, dude, you're the one, you're, you're welcome to leave. I'm not welcome to leave. You are. But more, more, oh, believe me, you're welcome to leave. Am I still being detained? Yes, you are. We're waiting for Take a look. Officer Brown to come back with a ticket book. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> this is unnecessary and illegal. Like, I mean, honestly. How, how do you do it?
I mean, I, 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 I don't blame you for, you for wearing a mask. I'd hide my face if I was doing what you're doing, too. Sir, I mean, you listen, it's the, it's the let's truth. Let's just wait and let's... I, listen, I don't want to wait. I, you listen, don't want to talk, so let's just I, I, I don't want to wait. I want to leave. Okay. Can I leave? No, you can't. You got a uniform policy? Well, do you? Let's take a look at this uniform over there. Let's, is that a thin blue line? May I look at your flag? Oh, it's not a leasey. There you go. At least you're right about that. Come on, let's go sit down. Come on. So where's court? Everything will be on, on the back of the ticket that you'll receive. So just for while we're investigating, what, what's your badge number? Okay. I can't read that. What's your badge number? You have the film video. Yeah, so I'm sure I do. What's your badge number? Come on. Come on, Sam. Well, let's not play that game. I believe you're required by, by policy to identify names. You're right here, sir. What, There's what? my policy. You, you, you can see it right there. Zero There's my badge. 1101. 1101. What about you, Scotty? 3492. 3492. <sighs> Boy, this is what you do for a living, huh? Like all the people burning courthouses out committing real crimes. You guys are up here harassing veterans over a mask, denying health care. Shame on you two. Shame on you. I mean, seriously, guys, you tell me you're, you tell me you're veterans? How could you be? Oh, come on, I'll take a seat. We're ready for this. Ticket book time. I did. I did. Can I see it, please? Yep. Thank you. Thanks, sir. What's your name? My first name is Matt. Matt Brown, and your badge number, Matt? Uh, 1906. 1906. You're actually doing this, huh? About a mask. So, About a, uh, are you, so you're for, huh? are you, are you Are you aware that the CDC changed its policy? Uh, I get it, but it's all about the VA at this point. We, we work for the VA, so the VA is on the policy. Yeah, but you're police. You don't work for the people. We work directly for the VA. Yeah, but you don't so, work. Uh, let's go ahead and issue the ticket. Don't even. We're not going to go back and forth. I offered him the 
see the policy. Oh, he listen. Oh, I do want to see the policy. I will go no, get it. You told me you did not. Oh, want I misunderstood. It. I'm sorry. You did not want the policy. I so. thought we were seeing it on the way out. I do want to see the policy. I absolutely want the policy. I'd love to. I mean, take it to court with me, please. Provide so, me with the policy. So what I was saying to you, sir. I don't have the policies on me. If you want to go over to our office, I'm not going to take in handcuffs. But if even after he issues you the ticket, if you want to, I'll go over there. I'll print the policy for the service animals. Okay. And I'll also print the policy in reference to the mask. Where is he going when I see? What's going on? So, Matt, what are you doing there, buddy? Uh, to use that to so write is them. that something that you would like, sir? I tell you, I'd like you to bring me the policies I, while I wait. Well, um, not, well I, I wrote with him. So uh, when this is over with, we can go over there. I'll grab the policies if you want it, and I will provide it to you. Yeah, I absolutely. I absolutely want to go see the policies. I don't know how you guys came over here without the policy. No one, you came over here for me, right? Sir, we did not know what we were coming over here for. The only thing that we got was an alarm saying code green. An alarm code green. So, what's an alarm code so green? We did not know exactly what was going on. So, that's why we came over here. You know what? I don't know you. I've never, I don't even think I've ever saw you before. No, no, we haven't had any account. So, so what, what, what's a code so green? So, obviously, someone called me. So, what's a code green? Uh, a code green is a basically it's a notification to the police that they're having something where they're requiring police assistance. It doesn't tell us what it is or what it was. So So they bypassed the nine one one system. So we came here. So was there a nine one one call? What's that? Was there a nine one one call? I'm not sure how it came in, so all I know is we got dispatch saying it was a code green over here. In so. your central comms office gave you the call. Right. tell you one thing that I will try to make a recommendation is that in the future the clinics that they have this policy on hand that they provide it to you like when people are coming in if they have it available maybe this can de-escalate some of this well listen uh, they, what, what they need is they don't have a, but they don't have a policy it, like it listen is, it is a policy. Wait, hang on a minute hang on a minute. let's follow me we, as we walk out, there's a million freaking signs. There's signs like, look at them all. There's this, like a you tell like. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hold on. Like, are you honestly telling me there's a million signs? Just because some donkey hangs a sign. What, like, I mean, they used to hang signs that say whites only over drinking fountains too, didn't they? I would suspect you have a problem with that. Probably as much or better than I do. Mm -hmm. So how can you stand there and discriminate against a but, different group? At, at one time, sir, at one time, that was actually law, right? Whether I liked it or not, well, law and it, policy. Was, it was law. But, but not just. So, and, they had, and they had bad police and, doing and exactly the, this, the enforcing is, bad law. Like I said, I'm a veteran, he's a veteran, I get my care here. But then how do you do I, this? I, because guess what? You Everything get a paycheck? It's not about what I want. I have to follow the rules, the regulations. But if the rules he said white only, directive. would you follow that too? What's that? If the, if they if they implemented a whites only drinking policy, would you follow that too? Uh, would that be in accordance with the law? Of course not. But neither well, is this. Okay. It is. Within it is not. The law. Yes, it is. What law, sir? The one I'm if getting a ticket you, for? If you want we'll to see. sit down with us after this and you want to go over some regulations and different things and see where the authority derives from, I'm more than happy to sit down with you. But if you want to just, oh, oh, anybody can make accusations and say, oh, it's this or it's that. But I can sit down with you if you're willing to and go over the regulations, go over where all of this is stemming from. Now, that's up to you. Interesting offer. Is this is is your is this you got a body cam on anybody? No. You got a body cam? Just my iPhone. Anybody got a body cam? No, sir. No. Nope. Are you get are you getting them? 
So that's, uh, that's, that's, that's what they've been telling us that it was they implemented a new program where they're supposed to be getting body cams. Okay. We're just waiting on the policies, logistics, all that. Another that. policy. So you have to have policies governed. Otherwise, you have every Tom, Dick, and Harry doing what they want to do. But right? that's just it. That's what that's what I'm saying. There is Tom, Dick, and Harry's doing exactly what they want to do because they hang up nonsense signs. None of these policies are signed. Like, it's not a signed policy. It's not really a policy. Well, they do have signed policies, sir. Oh, where? It is. Like I said, the, I tell you, the, the office and I can show you the if you're going to show me this bad boy, which the instructor just heard not the instructor, the clinic uh, guy, clinic um, supervisor handed me, mm -hmm. it's a printout off the internet. It's nonsense. No, this is not. Uh, yeah, I know it's out of This policy. is not what I'm talking about. I mean, no. I, of course it's not. But you're probably talking about. You're probably talking about that. In which case, you don't got a leg to stand on, my friend, because I've read your policy. The phone number you want to we can contact you? or You, need you definitely can't contact me. Well, it won't be me. It would be, this, this would go to whoever, like the, the, the violations bureau, if they wanted to talk to you about something, even to tell you maybe it was dismissed. Oh, I don't want it dismissed. Oh, hell okay. no. They, no. I'll be there at court. It's just, it's just information that's required on the ticket. That's all. Required, yeah. They tell me to put a phone number down so they can call you and say, hey, your court date changed or something like that. No? Okay. Is it possible that, sh that the, the, the prosecutor, whoever is dealing with this, will call you and say, okay, your court date's on this date? Because well, I, don't, I don't write a court date. You don't write a court date? No, they don't give the, that's, that's all, that's all set by let, let me see what you're writing. So, that is all set by, um, by the violations bureau. Because it has to go, because it's national, so they come back down to the local area. So, well, they'll send me a letter. Hopefully. Well, I mean, if they don't send me a letter to come, I won't go. <laughs> that's true. So, I, I've got a good address for you. Oh, or at right. least a, a bike you get mail at. Mm -hmm. All right, well, okay, well, do I have to provide that? Well, that's what they're going to mail it to you from this. But I don't have to provide you that information, right? Uh, I mean, I can look it up later if you want. All right, true enough, I guess okay. you could. But you know how, how would you look that up? Uh, through state, state websites and stuff. I can go on the DOL. And yeah, but how do you know like, really? I, well, I, I have I your date of birth, I have your name. You I, do. I mean, I'm happy with a court. NCIC, WASIC, and all oh, that Oh, you're right, you got my date of birth. All right, so we uh, Is that the policy you're going to show me, Lieutenant? Now, I don't know if that's the latest updated copy, but that looks like the Ask. policy number. But then also the directive that the President of the United States signed that gave the federal commands or the installation. In compliance with the CDC, so, right? <laughs> that, oh, come on. Yeah, OK. Well, we'll see. I guess we'll see at court. I mean, I, we'll see in court because I, I can hardly wait. There's one, two, three fellas are going to come at least see me. My good friend over here, I'm going to definitely put on the stand. We got some good questions to ask you, my friend. I'll be thinking. For 50 bucks, all for the low, low price of 50 bucks, I hope you get overtime. It'll be worth it. Okay, so you, so you see what I put on there so far, right? Hmm. Brown M, 1906, 2022. Uh, failure to comply with signs of restrictive nature posted for safety. That's reasons. exactly how it's read in the yeah, I hear in 38 you. CFR. So you actually get a copy of this so uh, you can see that. Yeah, I'm still. So, and then we'll call it. $50, huh? Oh, shit. I, even if I'm guilty, I, I'll pay the $50. I'll see you next time. Okay, I just need your signature here. It's not a mission of guilt. It's just that you give sure. me a copy of that. Right there at the bottom. Let me see. Well, let me just sit down here and see sure. what I'm signing. Appearances. Wait, wait. Appearance is optional. No, no, no. I want appearance mandatory. Well, that's what when when they contact you, you say no. I, I want to contest this. That's what you would do. Okay. And where am I signing? So down here it says. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, you're right. Defendant signature. Thanks. You bet. So now you're actually coming to court, huh? You won't no show me? <clears throat> Stand. Get your leash. Bring it out. Oh, she's she's a real deal. So this is this is your copy here. Hold it. 
you can see it, 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 it go ahead, it, it uh, actually redacts any of the information I put down so anybody else can see wait, it. Wait, 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 what do you redact? Well, it's just your address and stuff like that. Let me see what you redact. So, what's that? He wants to see the front ticket. So, it, it, it redacts this part here. So, so if I was putting this on your windshield, nobody can see that. You know what I mean? Uh, fair so, enough, fair enough. So, and then the second page is instructions if you want to you make the contact you make. Oh, you know I do. So, you, so are you actually going to come to court? If I'm subpoenaed to court, I show up. Oh, fuck yeah. You think you'd be subpoenaed over this? Oh, I can't wait. No telling. Get your leash. No telling. Okay, so is there any policies you want to show me? Fine. Fine, I'll see. Okay. Just, uh, I'll just take it. Okay, so wait a minute. It says right up here. Uh-uh. No, no. They see, they see right there. See, here's your tricks. Appear in court. If at the time and date, a place for you to appear in court is shown on the front of this violation, you must appear. If no date is shown, you'll be notified by mail. Okay, there you go. Sorry, my I continue to read is important. And even huh? though it says uh, appearance is optional and this is uh, be as checked and be monetary, you can still say no, I want a court date. Oh, hell, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Stand. Do you want to go over and get the policy? Yeah, or, yeah, let's okay. get your policy. I'd love to get your policy. All right. Oh, no problem. Hello. Thank you. Hey. Um, Oh, my brother. I'll be the doctor. <laughs> so I'm not, am I still being detained? No, you're, if you want the policy. I do want it, but I want to know if I'm being detained because my, my boyfriend over there wanted to know. Oh, hey, I'm coming here. Sure, thanks. Yeah, thanks, man. Are you gonna, are you gonna go to I'm, I'm meeting you guys on the first floor. Oh, okay. Can I catch? No, please don't. Okay. Oh, it says do not pet. <laughs> signs that say a million things. I mean, they don't mean it. Oh, I'm tickled. It's only 50 bucks, too. <laughs> well, they got to keep that in mind that it's veterans, so they're not trying to, you know, penalize and but they are uh, veterans paying an arm and a leg. You but know? listen, that it's penalty so, enough. Uh, it's way. penalty enough that we got to do this. So, uh, sorry, side. So, like I said, I, I understand. So, I mean, I don't agree with everything uh, that goes on, but you know, some of it is like, hey, I have to abide by what but you don't regulations and different things that they have in you, place. You, but you don't. Yes, you, you do, you, sir. No, listen, if it unless you got to uphold the law, unless it's illegal. Right. Then I have to obey it, by it. If it's illegal, you do. But there's nothing illegal about about not wearing the uniform that's prescribed by some stranger. But you can enforce the policy. They can enforce the policy on you. You work for them. I don't work for them. Well, I understand. But it's a federal installation. The same thing if you went to the airport and people were wanting to take airplane rides. And at one time they said, hey, everybody on the plane, you have to wear a mask. There was no exception. You had to wear a mask if you wanted to take a flight. But... 
I've flown internationally very recently. Uh, um, not only has that changed, but you don't have to wear a mask in the SeaTac airport. You don't have to wear a mask on the plane. Right, right. You don't have to wear a mask crossing the border. You don't right. have to wear a mask anywhere I'm, I'm, because there's no law that says you can do it, that says you have to do it. They've been rescinded. Well, I'm saying Thanks. at one just, time. Just, 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 at one time, that's true. They, they Go front. Did. Go front. Hurry. At one time they did. Listen, absolutely true. So, but no longer. So, but you have to think about where we're at too. You're talking about a, a hospital where you have people that are sick already. Some of them are high risk for, you know, different, you know, they just at a higher risk, elderly patients. And so I guess for the, I guess they, they think the overall betterment for everybody is to just say, hey, we to continue to wear masks at this time. But that's not the case. It's not so, the, to the betterment of everybody. So it's not to the betterment of everybody. It's discriminatory. It's completely discriminatory. And, uh, and it's, it's theater. Like, I mean, th th what does it help you do? So There's no science behind it. I can say, sir, it, we could debate about it all day long about whether it's worth it or not. But I just, I don't get to choose that. Rather, you know what I mean? You do. You absolutely. Hold, hold on one second, sir. 207, go ahead. Going to 20 right now. I'm down by uh, building three, about to walk past building three. Hurry. Yeah, it's like even things like this. The their policy is they have to be like on a leash, okay. under control. Listen, no, listen. Uh, but you see, you're absolutely correct. But you see, you want to see in compliance with policy and still get what I want? Watch this. Sit. Get your leash. On a leash, go front. On a leash, under control. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. So I mean, how's that? I mean, you know, it's semantics in theater. This dog's totally under control, whether it's got a leash on it or not. Look at it. Roma, stop. Sit. Sit. Wave. Wave. Come on. Oh, you got something <laughs> in your mouth. I want to play. I mean, like... hey, look. Come here. Give. <laughs> oh. I understand. Your dog well behaved, but think about the next guy that comes in and well, the dog isn't behaved. Right, but you and see, and then you go, hey, you gotta have. Well, how come your dog? You don't have control. Well, show me the policy. Where does it say I have well, to have control? Well, but actually, you know that is. I mean? But that that's an actual law, and that's an actual law. It's got numbers behind it, and and you're absolutely correct. It's a real law. Like you can actually, you can't misrepresent a service dog either. Right, right. But there's also you have to make reasonable accommodations under right. the Americans with Disabilities Act. Mm -hmm. And you guys aren't doing that. I mean, I, you gave me a ticket for it. Shit, this is the best doctor's appointment I've ever had. I love it. I get to go to court. 50 bucks? Sweet. Hey, the other way. No. <laughs> oh, hang on. We gotta go this way. Good, good. Did you get my email? Uh, no, I've been out of the office back and forth. Okay, every stop stay wireless. The guy that takes appointments uh, office right now, but he says everything's going to be fine. I don't know how many people are around. Alright, thank you so much. Alright. Okay. Let's get to this. I got, I got dinner to cook. So, have a seat here. Just give me a minute to go pull it up on the computer. I'll print them out and, and bring them to you. Okay? Sounds good. I'll be right here. You want a water? No, thank you. Oh, you do? I, I do, actually. That'd be lovely. Okay. Oh, hello, service hey, dog. How are you? I've been seeing you all day. How are you doing? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do like the, the, nice. the pearl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Max, you can go ahead and hear it. Is it open? Yeah, it's open. All right. Oh, 
Friend, Scotty, too hotty. Come on, don't be like that. Come to court, see? I hope you do. Oh, I hope I hope they will. You wouldn't you, you wouldn't have anything to do if you get anyway.
I'm printing them in this office here. So the one policy that you have for the uh, masking, it's been a, another one since then, like that's dated like in 2022. Okay. So I went ahead and printed that one off for you. Come on. paper jam I'm still trying to print the other one but this is the one that was updated that that newer policy hmm. and then this is the one for the animals brought into via future sound and I'm trying to print off the uh, presidential uh, director all right um, one thing that I would I don't know that it's been changed but you see where it says request reasonable accommodation through pre-existing processes if unable to wear a fast mask due to a medical condition you see that that's in the policy so mm -hmm. there are reasonable accommodations. And when I asked for that a reasonable so, accommodation on many times for many people, I was denied. So let me see if they have it. Is it is it in the new one? I don't know. I'd so I don't know. It's clear, Lieutenant, if you want to go reprint it. Okay, I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll look. Come here. Sit down.
still, it's not signed by him. How is it? Yes, she is. Stand, get your leash. Well, she looks yeah. pretty. Yeah, yes. Excuse me. Move, move, move. Yeah, there you go, you're doing that. I think we... Are we having diminishing returns here? Or you got the... Uh, I think I got this last one to print out. So like I said, that new one, I just skimmed it briefly. It doesn't look like the... Uh... Yeah, it looks like they took it out, but still. But still, you can't make a policy that's against the law. This is... No, no, no. I just need to you can't have a policy that's against the law. You know, that's how it goes. So, and then this is the one about the presidential order. So, presidential order. Okay, well, thanks so much. We'll see you in court. Right, Appreciate sir. your time. Have a good day. Say goodbye to my good buddy, Scotty Robinson. I know he's going to miss me.